Okay, my video is all done, uh, let's, let's say, and uh, so my next thing I need to do is to export the movie. Now, unfortunately, I'm on a Mac, and I say unfortunate because there's not as many export options, and if you're on a PC, one of the most popular and uh, pretty universal would be Windows Media Player, WMV Files. Uh, Windows Media Video, and um, so you might want to play around with that if you're on a PC. But since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go with QuickTime, which is pretty universal too. And um, right now, I've been playing around um, a lot. But let's just say I'm I'm going to start with this regular NTSC DV option with QuickTime selected. Next thing is I have to name the file. I'm going to call this Intro video and I want to be really careful about where I put it and I've been playing around with it already so I'm already got it exactly where I want it to go but you want to be careful um, where the movie is going to go by clicking this browse button you can select that um, now what I'm going to do is click on the advanced you may be able to work this without using the advanced option if you have using Windows uh, media but you'll just have to play around with it so what I do is I click on advanced and what I'm going to do is go for a different codec um, which is H264 which is pretty popular and this is going to make a really a nice video but huge and too big um, for something you know, for that quality it doesn't need to be as big as it's going to be if I just leave it like this so there's two things you can do that can really affect the size. One is click on the keyframes and say a keyframe every, I'm going to say 15 frames, which will make it a lot smaller as opposed to one, and then limit the data rate. And I'm going to limit it to, um, say, since there's not a lot of movement, I'm going to limit it to, say, 750. You could try 500. This is probably one of the most dramatic ways with the data rate you can change the size of the file and you can often get away with with a pretty small file and the quality still okay so I'm gonna limit it to 750 then I click OK and then it wants me to rename this preset because I've changed the preset and so it automatically make, makes a new preset based on this and um, so what I'm going to do and you can delete it later by the way if, if you don't want to keep it but I'm going to call this ntscdv h.264 uh, and then say OK OK so I think I'm all ready to go and um, I don't like I have this obsession with spaces and names so I'm going to put a little underscore um, that's that has to do with my OCD tendencies not anything really important anymore so I'm going to click on save and now we wait a while while the movie is being saved okay so now it's saved and we have save complete and um, I can click on done to return to that screen but most importantly now I should be able to find my video in the location where I put it and uh, in fact here it is intro video dot mov and so we can just look at it and see hello um, I'm Richard Hall and I'm a professor at Missouri S and um, just for the record when I tried it without changing the keyframes etc the file was somewhere around 65 megabytes so that shows and the quality wasn't much better so it shows how dramatically you can change those things with compression um, okay so that's how you export a video one way to export a video in Premiere Elements and you can certainly play around with those settings um, quite a bit to get the optimal video quality uh, while not making the file size too large.